Okay, so let's uh, continue by talking about the semigroup property of flow maps. So uh, again, you consider a initial value problem, right? That uh, y dot is equal to f of y, and y at time zero is y zero, right? And um, so you have some solution curve, and you have uh, initial data at time. Let's say this is time t equals to zero. This is y zero. Okay, and you want to look at the flow. Um, let's see the flow map up, uh, given by time t one uh, applied to y zero. Okay, so this is the solution then at time t one. Um, and then you can ask, well, what happens if I then use uh, this uh, value? It's like um, at time t1 as an initial condition and then apply a flow map again, okay? So you could imagine some later time, which is t1 plus t2, okay? Um, and you go from here to here. Um, and this is, of course, um, nothing more then the flow map for time t2 applied to the flow map for time t1 y0. So you should just think of this as uh, the initial data. It's like for the time t2 flow map. Um, and basically by the um, uniqueness theorem for solutions of uh, differential equations, what has to happen is that this uh, should be the same as what you would get if you were to take a single uh, flow map um, of length t1 plus t2 applied to the initial data uh, y0. Okay, so this is the flow map for t1 plus t2 applied to y0. So those two things uh, should agree. Okay, so what this is saying is that um, the composition of these two flow maps applied to the initial data. This is equal to um, t1 plus t2 applied to the initial data. And this should be true for all uh, initial values y0. So that means that as operators, you have the property that this composition is equal to the flow map for the sum of the time intervals. Okay. All right, um, so, uh, and, and here it's like we are assuming that the differential equation is autonomous and there's a, a certain time invariance of the problem. Okay, so if, uh, if you uh, can solve the initial value problem for both uh, positive and negative times, all right, so if we can solve uh, the initial value problem, for all um, positive or negative times, then you have the following property, okay? So a consequence of this basically is that the flow by a positive time composed by the flow by a negative amount of time, right, is equal to the flow of the sum of those two times, which is uh, the flow associated with uh, time zero. And of course, this is nothing more than the, than the identity map. Okay, so what this is telling you then is that the inverse of a time t flow map is uh, given by the negative time t flow map. So hence, have that uh, this negative time t flow map is equal to the inverse of the positive time t flow map. 
Uh, then the set of all such maps Rails, right, is a one parameter. Um, group. Okay, with uh, the commutative group operation. just the composition of maps. 